Conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f up. Well, another uh, big fight <clears throat> booked and is official. Let me just look up the exact number uh, card that it is. Chandler versus Ferguson is set for UFC Ooh. 274 in May. Guys, got any, er, any early predictions on that one? Go ahead. I, I hate that Tony Ferguson's still fighting. It's almost like Dan Hooker. It's not. It's worse. Oh, it's it's, it's worse. way it's worse. worse. Yeah. No, no, but he needs to, What I mean is that he needs to step back. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. I just don't. Like watching Tony take that fight against uh, Gaethje. Fucking Christ. That was hard to watch. Because I've been the biggest Tony Ferguson fan my whole career. It's just it's, sometimes it seems like Tony got old overnight. You know? Like it just. It just seemed like one day he just wasn't the same Tony. Um, but who knows? He's been off for a long time. So maybe, he's, you know, let his body heal up. Maybe he's reinvigorated. You know, he says the right things. Um, stylistically, that's a nightmare matchup, though, for Tony. It's a tough, tough matchup. So, um, but who knows? Chandler's had a tendency to be a little inconsistent. So, you know, he kind of showed up in the Gaethje fight, was able to take a bunch of damage. His conditioning was there. Uh, you know, fight of the year candidate. But then sometimes Chandler doesn't show up, you know, and he'll an off round and then finished by Oliveira, you know, kind of with punches. So I don't know. Uh, I think the where they are in the division ranking wise makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, I, I, that fight has to happen as long as Tony's still fighting. Um, but, I but echo I everything you said. Tony Ferguson's a warrior, right? Yeah. I could spend 10 minutes right here talking about what a brave guy he is and how exciting his fights have been and all the rest of it. But there's no need. We all know this. You know, nobody, if you are a fan of MMA, you don't need me to sit here and go on about how fucking great he is and what a great service he's given to this sport, the great memories and all the rest. Because we know every time he fights, it's fucking must-see TV. Mm -hmm. But that's the problem. You can't fight like that forever. You know, that comes at a price. And generally what he would do, he would, because the first rounds were never fun for Tony Ferguson. You know, mm -hmm. he'd always have to go through that fire. He would always weather the storm, you know, and not that he's not technical because it's sounding like I'm saying that. But I'm not saying that, but he would often take a lot of damage and then there, and then he would turn it around, he would weather the storm and then finish them. He would make it oh, so exciting. But when you have that kind of style, eventually it's going to catch up with you. You yeah. know, you cannot... The, the, the idea is to hit and not get hit. And people love the fighters like Tony Ferguson or even Michael Chandler or just mm -hmm. engage you that go out and take fucking damage and are absolute warriors. And we love that. And the sport was built on people like that. However, everything has a sell by day, an expiration day, and eventually it's going to catch up. And I do believe that maybe that time might have come for Tony Ferguson. However, when you look at the losses, Charles Oliveira, current champion, Justin Gagey, um, fighting for the belt, and who was the other one? The other one was the other one was the other one was a good one. It was it? Dariush. Vinil Vinil. Dariush. So when you look at those, it's like, oh, well, hold on a minute. It's the they best made, guys in the world. They're the best guys in the world. There's no shame in losing to any of them. However, it's the way that he lost, and it's like the decline that we saw throughout them, and the amount of sh uh, blows to the head that he's taken. You oh, know, the and fight was awful the way his head was snapping back my like, god damn and, and that's that's the problem with those type of fighters it seemingly happens overnight like one fight it does he's a goddamn monster you know he's the same tony we all love and then he fights justin gaethje and that guy's just not there anymore and then you know like oh he just had an off night and then he fights Oliveira. but still not there you know he's willing to step in there and mm -hmm. sign contractually to fight dan hooker I mean, how can you not respect that man? Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's just unbelievable. Who right. out there is on a three fight? And again, it goes back to the Dan Hooker situation. Again, right. all respect in the world. You know, you've lost three in a row to the best people in the world. One of them being the champ, one being the number one contender, and one being a potential number one contender mm -hmm. in waiting, right? The best people in the world. And now you're going to take on Michael Chandler, right? Fuck me. I mean, <laughs> the guy's got balls Why? of steel. <laughs> yeah. but don't do that <laughs> yeah, do you know what i mean no. because you're not going to fight for the belt any time but 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 that is the landscape though because you're right as you said before you're only as good as your last fight 
he goes out there, beats a Michael Chandler, all of a sudden, He's right back, back in the conversation. It. And we right and, then pe- and then people pull this clip up of us talking right now and talk about how we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Oh, of course. And and, and that happens in MMA. And that happens. It, it and that's just, what makes it such an amazing sport because you can't yeah. there's no guarantees that th- th- right. there's there's I'm no, just giving you my opinion. But yeah, I, I honestly don't know. He might show up I'm open. and we might be right. And and it's just it, you know, his his ticket has been clicked too many times. Or I mean, Michael Chandler has the worst day of his life, or or maybe Michael Chandler just has a you know has an average night, and Tony is back to where he always was. What was know. the last fight? Was that was it Gagey, right? Or was no, it Darius? Darius. Darius. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen. Regardless, I wish you the best. I really yeah, do. Yeah, me too. Really me too. do. Love Tony. All right, let's hear from one of our sponsors, IP Vanish. We are welcoming them back to today's show. IP Vanish have been a long-time sponsor of ours, so it's great to have them back. So let me tell you about IP Vanish. If you care about the security of your online activity, the easiest way to protect yourself is with IP Vanish VPN, 